Alabama interstate, Alabama interstate signs hacked by racist, white supremacist, placed messages on the signs. Put it up full mass. We got the story. When did this happen? Well, according to the report, Memorial Day weekend. Multiple Alabama motorists traveling on Interstate 65 this past Memorial Day were shocked when they spotted Alabama Department of Transportation signs hacked with white supremacist messages. Photos from social media show large digital signs that read Patriot Front and Reclaim America. I have more. One driver heading north on I-65 stated on Twitter that an Alabama state trooper waved me to go on. How does this come about? Is it an inside job kind of thing? It also said road work nightly or something on the third slide. And it was an actual work zone that followed. Weird as hell. Another motorist told AL.com that she reported the sign to a state trooper at about 1 p.m. A spokesperson for the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency referred questions to the Alabama Department of Transportation. John McWilliams, public information officer at Alabama DOT, West Central Region, said a contractor's portable message board on I-65 was hacked. A citizen alerted a nearby state trooper about the message, who then contacted Department of Transportation, Alabama, Big Williams said. The DOT personnel immediately responded and turned the message board off. No other message boards on I-65 were affected. McWilliams said officials plan to investigate how the messages appeared. All right, um, let's put up Patriot Front. Who are they? Those guys. So according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, Patriot Front is based in Texas. They are identified as a white nationalist hate group, which formed in the aftermath of the Unite the Right rally in um, Char um, Charlottesville, Virginia. That was on August 12, 2017. According to the Anti-Defamation League, Patriot Front is responsible for the vast majority of white supremacist propaganda distributed in the United States since 2019. It looks like they are collaborating. Okay? It's a collaborative effort, it seems. Uh, once again, racism, racism not being at least treated, in my opinion, the way it should be. Where's the press conference, Alabama? Where's the, this will not be tolerated in our communities? Where's the cybersecurity agency of your state looking into this based on the forensics of what happened? Where's your collaboration, Alabama? Where's your united front against it? We won't get that. We will get a statement that says, trust me, it's under investigation. Jackson, thoughts? Yeah, and, and we'll get a, a light statement because, um, you know, they're so dependent on those votes. It's, you mm. know, really amazing to see how much of a chokehold, I mean, Really, it's nothing new, though, um, how much of a chokehold uh, the racist elements of this country have on the Republican Party, especially since Reagan's been in office. But, you know, it's just been uh, getting more and more extreme ever since time has moved on as our entertainment culture has expanded. And especially ever since Donald Trump won the 2016 election, then, I mean, just, you know, uh, cordiality just went out the door. Um, so, you know, making a stand against people like this, uh, you know, the Reclaim America crowd, uh, means losing out on votes, because otherwise they're going to have to go a little further to the left, at least, and start appeasing to people, uh, you know, start appeasing to popularity, you know, uh, stop doing things like uh, passing six-week abortion bans. All of this is connected because it's all stemming from the same base. So, and this is exactly why they won't really fight against Donald Trump either, despite the fact that they'd rather not have him there, the Republican establishment, that is, not the voters. But they won't do anything about it. Why? Because the voters are are, are so in love with them. So yep. it's just the, the pit that they dug for themselves. And sometimes, Jackson, groups would do things like this to gauge how serious a government is as it relates to responding or reacting to them uh, criminally, right? There's no criminal charge likely going to happen from this. If there is, I will update. But they gauge 
how popular they are in a particular state based on moves like this and how they um, how that state responds.